Okay, so I'm pretty excited about this. Um, this is a Toshiba laptop that I had an issue with the graphics card overheating until I actually had a video card failure on this laptop. And I was ready to just recycle the laptop, spill, sell any spare parts on eBay, whatever. And as a last ditch effort, I decided to try baking the video card. So I did a little research on baking the video card. I tried that out and it, it appears to fix this laptop. Um, I'll give it, you know, a few weeks of running. But I've run 3D Mark, I've run some 3D applications. The laptop, by all appearances, seems to be fixed. I'm very impressed, very happy that I didn't throw out the laptop, and I just wanted to share the process of baking a video card in case any of you ever run into the same situation. Um, definitely something to keep in mind. Okay, so this video is gonna be very different than my normal videos, but I think this is important, um, and I'm just gonna explain what I'm gonna do here at the Acetone in this video card. Um, I've got a Toshiba Satellite. It's a P105S9312 laptop. And it was a good laptop for the first couple years. And then I had issue with this uh, video card. Um, that laptop has an NVIDIA GeForce Go 7900GS. And if you read about that card online, you'll see that people have a lot of issue with that card overheating and getting to the point where it actually corrupts the memory and you've got card failures. Or on, on the screen, you get a lot of uh, green vertical bars. And I was reading, researching, you know, whether I need to buy a replacement card, which is very hard to find today. And rather than just throw this card away, I'm going to try something called baking the video card to see if that fixes it. And the basic idea is you put this in the oven at 390 degrees for 10 minutes. And what that does is it, it melts the solder and allows the solder to reseat. And I can see how that would work and how that may just fix my issue here. And I just thought I would document the process, try it out, and... Uh, Hopefully it works. So I'm going to use the acetone to remove the heat paste. Um, you can see a lot of points here on the uh, GPU where there's heat paste and on the memory chips, etc. So I'm going to remove the uh, heat paste with some acetone and I'm going to put this card in the oven for 10 minutes. I'll throw it in the laptop and we'll see if it uh, fixes the problem. And uh, if it does, I think that'll be just great. And I uh, just wanted to share the experience. Um, if it doesn't fix it, I was going to throw it away anyway and try to get a new uh, graphics card for the laptop or just recycle the laptop. So either way, this is going to be interesting and uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm ready to start the uh, process here in the uh, heat paste removal. I, uh, nothing like acetone to break away stuff like this. Okay, <clears throat> so now I'm going to put some uh, tinfoil supports to hold this up and I really just want to attach the supports to areas where the tinfoil is not going to transfer the heat directly to uh, one of the chips or one of the plastics. So some point where a little bit of a heat transferring up through the tinfoil to that very direct point is not going to matter too much. Okay, so that's it. It's uh, up suspended from the uh, plate and we'll put this in the oven and uh, check it 10 minutes later. Okay, so we have the oven set at 385. We'll put this in here. All right. Come back in 10 minutes and uh, see what that's at. Okay, so it's been in there 10 minutes. We will uh, take it out and take a look at it. Okay, so it's out of the oven. I do smell a little bit of a uh, burnt plastic smell, but looking at the plastic uh, pieces on the board, I don't see that any of them have melted or anything. So um, hopefully my oven operates at the correct temperature and uh, hopefully this fixes it. So we'll try it out. I'll just run a few of the uh, real-time 3D um, game stuff here just to show you that it is running uh, 3D correctly now. 
and I'll explain a little bit about what I think created the problem in the first place. Um, but you can see here that it runs this uh, real-time 3D environment just fine. Uh, as you run it for a while, the video card does begin to come on here on the side, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, it's, it seems to be working again, and I am just so excited about that. The video card's working fine. I can leave that running through the day and just see if this is really fixed, because in the past, as this problem started to show itself, it would run a 3D uh, environment like this, and then it would just crash out, overheat, shut down, restart it. You couldn't even restart the computer. Um, a lot of screen artifacts, all kinds of junk. So apparently this uh, seems to be fixed, and I am just so happy. Okay, just a few thoughts on some preventative measures to keep this from happening again in the future. Um, and getting to the video card, I discovered that it has um, very, very fine, like flutes or very fine pieces of copper on edge. And these are for cooling. And the design of this laptop is actually designed in such a way that it's very easy for these to fill up with dust. And when these fill up with dust, that's when it overheats. Um, so what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to use compressed air in this laptop every six months or so maybe even more if I'm in a dusty environment, just really keep this stuff clean. And hopefully uh, I'll never have that issue with the overheating again. I think, based on what I'm seeing here, that baking the video card actually fixed this laptop. So, pretty exciting.